Hey guys, Scanner Danner here. Today we are doing something a little different. We're gonna program a new key fob in a 2019 Ford Expedition. Uh, this one only came with one key. That's the one that does work. And this is the one we bought from Ford. Notice that does not work. So this 2019 Expedition, we purchased it, traded in the Navigator, which was starting to rust out. And uh, so we needed a new car. And at the same time, we felt that this thing is gonna be very beneficial for our family. Our family, yeah, my family, but also my online family, you guys, in that it has adaptive cruise, it has lane assist, and some of the newer features that are available on today's cars. And we'll be able to shoot a lot of how to and operational system videos on this thing. I'm looking forward to that. So um, we want to see if we can program this key starting off. Should be pretty straightforward using the IM608, the Autel. Let's just go through it. So this is uh, the immobilizer function I'm going to. Let's ID the vehicle. I was told from my friend Matthew Skundrich that these newer systems, I think 2019 and newer, you need an LSID to be able to program keys which is a locksmith ID, and it has to do with the secure gateways and things like that for, in particular, the cars as they're moving toward the autonomous driving. And um, But he told me that the Autel should be able to do it, so that's we're going to make an attempt here. Hopefully, I don't have to call um, my friend Matt. So I just went to the hot function, and we're going to add a smart key. It's a guided test. I've never done this before, so guided is nice. It says, press start to execute. <laughs> start. All right, so if the factory alarm of this vehicle is activated, you need to deactivate the factory alarm first before you can learn the keys. So that's just simply like an unlock maybe with this one. Plus I'm in it and it's running. It might not want me to be doing that right now. We'll see. So we're, we should be good there. Pressing okay. It says this procedure will not erase existing keys. That's a good thing. It is normal that the instrument panel turns black when performing this function. I do have it running right now. I might not want it running, but I'm hitting yes. It says turn ignition to the on position or open and close the driver's door one time. Now I, I have it running right now. Maybe I should shut it off. Let's do that. I'll just turn the key on. All right, key is on. It says or open and close driver's door one time. Pressing OK. Security accessing, please wait three to 10 minutes. Did you just do that? Everything kind of blinked for a second. There, it did just, everything went blank. The dash went blank, it just says alarm, and then all sensors. Yeah, the radio shut off on its own, the climate control shut off on its own. Everything shut off on its own. I didn't do anything and it was it was nice that they gave me that warning because I might be a little bit nervous otherwise right now and thinking that everything shut off and then hit the ignition on again when I shouldn't be. Um, so that was a nice note. Now, I don't know much about the LSID stuff, but what I've been reading, what I've been hearing about is in the newer systems, they're, they're um, protecting the, the gateways uh, for the self-driving cars, and rightly so, if you think about it, we don't want to have people hacking into these systems and, you know, causing accidents and things like that. So they, they're, the manufacturers are getting uh, really, really um, closely monitoring and controlling those systems. So maybe that everything just turned back on. Maybe in that context is is part of it. Okay, hold on. Let's see. It says earn keys two. Add smart key. Press OK. Place the smart key to be learned into the slot. Remember we did this before, except I don't know where the slot is on this car, which is usually in the armrest box, in the cup holder, or in the glove box. There's a picture right here where we place the key. We pull the cup holder, the front cup holder, and we place the key in there. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. Key in the slot. Pressing OK. That's learning the key. 
Current number of keys is now three. It did say in the owner's manual, you have to have two keys previously programmed before you can do this procedure. And you know, of course one is lost. Now we have three keys that are total number of keys programmed is three. Somewhere there's a key for this thing out there that we don't have, but it says learning successful. Do you want to learn the next key? It's going to be no. And we're done. That was, that was easy. So now this is the new key hitting unlock, hit and lock. Let's see what this two times button does. I don't know what it does. I think it puts the windows down. What does it do? What's it do? What's it do on this one? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Um, I'm probably doing something wrong. It might be the key needs to be off and it's possible. Um, this would be the hatch. Cool. All right, sweet. Well, that was very straightforward. Piece of cake using the Autel IM608. So props to Autel and this tool. Uh, I know you guys are gonna have questions. Well, can the Ultra do this procedure? And from what Matt told me, it does not. So I apologize for not showing you that. I also plugged in my Varus. Um, it has only the 20.4 update. And you know, honestly, when I when I scanned the system, it only showed five or six different modules for this model year. So I'm pretty sure that my Varus update is too old really to see all the systems in here. So I can't tell you for sure if the Varus can do it but for sure the Autel IM608 did, and that is a win for that. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, this is an area that is not my expertise. I keep mentioning my friend, uh, Matthew Scundrich, he's gonna be producing uh, some material for us uh, for SD Premium, so I'm, I'm happy about that, and hopefully that will begin soon, and uh, we'll get you guys some uh, some information from an expert in the field that that's what he does all the time. Guys, I hope you learned something. Thanks so much. Piece of cake with the IM608. We'll see you next time. It's really raining right now, <laughs> like heavy. <laughs> that's kind of really loud, isn't it? It's really loud. Should we wait for a second? Oh, that sunroof is huge. It is huge. Yeah, check it out. Actually open that, that's way better lighting. It's better lighting, yeah, way better. Yeah, but now I want to go from the From top. the start. Hey guys, Scanner Danner here. Today, Caleb, sorry. Hey guys, what's you wrong? Said, with... let's just go through it, that's fine. We can keep it going from there. Are we good? Mm -hmm. Was that okay? That was fine. Even though I called everyone family? That's all right, I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> keep it. All right.